Hi guys and welcome back to Coil Life. Today I have the Furion uh, mechanical squanger from Lost Vape to show you. And I have the Brass and Ultim one here. Uh, it performs really nice, it's a really nice mod. I've got the Hadley with the Ultim cap on top, matchy matchy. But before I go into any more details, let's dive down and have a quick up close tour around the Furion from Lost Vape. Okay, so here we are with the Furion mechanical squonker from Lost Vape. And on here we've got the amber and brass one, is the one that I've chosen. Back of the box, not much to see. And there you've got a little bit of the Lost Vape website. Facebook page and Instagram. So if we open up the box, see inside we have a little box, quite nice. In here then is where the mod will sit. You also get a spare silicon squonk bottle. This piece here is a little Ultim adapter for your 18650 batteries as this device takes 18650s, 2700s and 21700s and then you do get a little polishing cloth a warranty registration card a user manual which is quite good Although, what they should really include is how to take it apart and clean it. But I will show you that later on. So then, the device itself. I have the brass and Ultim one. It is quite, quite nice. Now, measurements on this, it is... 83-84 millimeters in height. You've got then 26 and a half millimeters across, and then from front to back, we'll measure it at the bottom be easier, not including the firing switch, roughly 49 and a half mil. So then you do have a spring loaded 510 pin on the top. Your firing switch, it is mechanical, you see in there, if I just remove that lock, that's it making contact just there. You do have your little lock and switch, which is a nice little feature. On the bottom to get your squonk bottle out, open up that tab, push in, you do have, I'll just pop this out to show you. On the bottom there, you do have a lock and unlock. And this little notch here slides in there, and that's what holds your squonk bottle in place. The top of your squonk bottle, if we just unscrew that, that pops off. And then with the spare bottle, this little piece here just pops off like that. If you want to remove the bottom for cleaning, and just unscrew that, same again, this bit pops out, just screw that back in, pop that ring back on there, and it is quite easy to do, screw that back, and that's it, and that's a nice soft silicon bottle, holds 9ml of juice, then your battery tray is on the other side, again open that tab, unscrew, there's quite a lot of threads on this one now, that's it, you get your battery, you get a 2700, pop that in like that, when you screw this down, Screw it down till it's nice and tight. That's 
it. No rattle at all. Perfect. Okay, so you can take this also apart for cleaning. All you need is uh, an Allen key. And I think this is a 2mm, 1.92mm Allen key. You just unscrew these two screws. That one pops out. Grab the other one. And that one pops out. And your bottom plate will come off like that. This piece in here will slide out if I just pop the top off. Now you just have to be careful of this because this has a tendency to go everywhere. But if we pop that out, that's your top plate with your 510. You can see how when you get your bottle, how your bottle pops in like that, held on by the two O-rings, keeps a nice snug fit, make sure that there's no leaking at all. And also you've got your switch. You pop that out just like that. Careful with your locking bit. And your top, yeah, so that's your switch there. So you can, if you wanted to, you could pinch these a little bit to make a less th less of a throw and then you've got this sleeve here which houses your your battery tube and that's pretty much it it's very very simple it's a nice nice design now I think I will swap out this sleeve and this carbon fiber effect plastic tubing here I can't see why they didn't put a, a brass one on there because brass is it's going to tarnish it can be a pain to clean all the time um, which this was the simpler option so I'll just quickly pop this all back together again so what I will say is putting it back together just be careful of this little locking switch here and this front panel it can be a little bit tricky to put it on but when you've got your little switch all in there you pop your 510 down just like that pop your bottom plate on making sure that obviously you've got your little notch there for your squonk bottle so you've got it located on the right side pop that in and these two rods will just slide down pop them in Tighten them back down. And that's it, all back together. Just make sure that last one's tight. That's it. It's easy to clean. So that's it, let's uh, pop back up on top then and um, I'll let you know what I think. Okay guys, so that was the up close tour around the Lost Vape Furion Mech Squonker. And I have to say, I really, really, really like this device. Um, I have a couple of little niggles with it, but all in all, it's, it's beautiful and value for money. I picked this one up uh, for £70 uh, from Grey Haze in the UK. So pros, the looks, it looks absolutely stunning. Now I know that some people are not a fan of this fake plastic carbon fiber tubing. Um, it doesn't really bother me a great deal. Uh, the only thing I find is a little bit of miss with this is there's a little bit of a gap. You won't be able to see it. You might be able to see the, the black and the yellow. That's the base of my battery in there. So you can kind of you can see that underneath so this needs to be a little bit longer in my opinion um, if I mean I've got a red 
2700 Sony battery and you can just see the little red strip down the bottom there and I think that it's just annoying but um, other than that I will probably end up changing that to a copper one but I can see the point of why they didn't put it on there it, it will just tarnish because of where you grip and your hand is going to be there all the time it's just going to tarnish so quickly um, the other gripe with this for me is this front piece here it looks cheap and tacky it just doesn't go with the brass on the top and the bottom I really think that they they should have had it the same color it just looks a little bit off um, taking it apart to clean it they really should have had some sort of instruction booklet in with it because it can be a little bit tricky a little bit niggly um, it, it's not hard it's not hard by any means uh, but I think with most mech users they like to take the device apart be able to clean all the contacts down etc and that's one thing that's missing out of the, out of the booklets um, that come with it uh, but pros it comes apart very easily um, very easy to, to clean it all out and um, another pro is that bottle system the way you just pop that out it, that's so so good I know it, it's unfortunate that you have to use their bottles with it but you've got those two o-rings on the 510 which stops any sort of chance of anything leaking out of it and the, the firing switch it's it's nice everything about this as with all lost vape devices they're high-end quality devices but this one for the money it's a bargain it, it really is 70 pounds it's not that bad at all and it just functions great it, it takes your 18650s your 2700s your 2700s it, it's it's the full package and it performs it, it really does does what it's supposed to do there's not really much more I can say about it if if you want to get your hands on one I'll pop a couple of links in the description below and check them out but from me that's all I've got time for thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already done so please do hit that subscribe button below and we'll catch you again soon